Hello subscribers, right, here we are with another Mr. Hutton Science video. Okay, today we're looking at gas volumes and this is to go with the AQA GCC chemistry course. This is for triple of course, so if you are a trilogy student, a double science student, then you will not need to do the gas volumes part. Right, um, so let's get, let's get on with this. Right, uh, phones away, go to the toilet, uh, get yourselves a drink and pen and paper ready to go. So gas volumes, right. We know, we know already that one mole of any substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of that substance. What's that number known as? Avogadro's constant, I hear you say. That is exactly right. So, other piece of information you need to know is that one mole of any gas has a volume of 24 decimeters cubed at RTP. So, RTP is room temperature and pressure and tends to be at GCC 20 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. So, it's really important to know that is any gas. Okay, one mole of any gas, so one mole of oxygen gas has a volume of 24 decimeters cubed and one mole of hydrogen gas has a volume of 24 decimeters cubed. Okay, so any gas. Right, so therefore, if we know the volume of a gas, we can then calculate the number of moles. How do you think you can do that? Can you come up with an equation quickly now where we link moles, volume of gas, and uh, the volume of one mole of gas? Okay, have a go now, pause the video, see if you can come up with an actual calculation, an actual equation. Yep, that's right. Hopefully you've come up with moles equals volume in decimeters cubed divided by 24 decimeters cubed. So if 24 decimeters cubed is one mole and we've got 48 decimeters cubed, obviously we're going to have two moles. I think that's an example I'm going to use later that I've just given away there, but never mind. Right, we can also look at this in terms of centimeters cubed. So we could have our volume given to us in centimeters cubed and therefore we would have to divide by 24,000 centimeters cubed. Because remember our conversions between centimeters cubed and decimeters cubed? If we're going from decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed, we need to multiply by a thousand. Right, so generally for this, you need to remember, okay, that one mole of any gas has a volume of 24 decimeters cubed. That's the kind of only bit here that you've got to, to remember off by heart, okay? Um, the other bits, you should be able to apply your, your knowledge about moles and uh, reacting masses and things to work out. But we'll look at a few examples. Uh, well, we're going to look at A example first, and then later on there are some questions for you guys. Right, so example one. We've got a helium balloon. Yeah, that's the one that makes our voices go squeaky. Right, a helium balloon has a volume of 48,000 centimeters cubed. Calculate the moles of a of helium. Calculate the moles of helium in the balloon. Okay, there's two ways we can do this. Then, okay, there's uh, method one and method two. For method one, we're going to use the volume in decimeters cubed. So we need to convert now from centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed. So have a quick go, see if you can do it. Quick, 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 quick. Work it out, and of course. Yeah, you got it. Okay, that's 48 decimeters cubed divided by 24 decimeters cubed because that's how much volume one mole takes up. And therefore, we've got two moles. So what we could do, we could work it out the other way. We could stick with our 48,000 centimeters cubed, okay, and divide by 24,000 uh, centimeters cubed, okay, to give us exactly the same answer, two moles. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. That's a kind of uh, easy one there. We're going to look at another example now, which is a bit more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a bit more application, okay? So, example two. What's the minimum mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate? So that's the NaHCO3 we've got on the left there. What's the minimum amount of sodium hydrogen carbonate that must be heated to produce 0.25 decimeters of carbon dioxide. Right, this is linking volumes of gas and reacting masses. Okay, so essentially what you're gonna have to do is work out the moles of carbon dioxide from the volume you've got there, 
use the molar ratio to work out the moles that you'd have of sodium hydrogen carbonate then multiply that by the relative formula mass to give you your mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate easy right okay if you want to pause the video now and uh, have a go and then I'll run through the example in a moment anyway so pause if you want to have a go and then unpause to follow okay step one let's have a look at the carbon dioxide then so if we want to work out the moles of CO2 we're gonna to have to divide the volume that we've got by 24 so 0 0.5 divided by 24 to give us 0 0.01 moles we then look at our molar ratio which is 2 to 1 so you can see there that our sodium hydrogen carbonate has a 2 to 1 ratio with the carbon dioxide we've worked out the moles of carbon dioxide so we must have double the moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate which gives us 0 0.02 moles then we can just simply work out the MR of our sodium hydrogen carbonate and multiply it by our moles to give us the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate so the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate equals 0 0.02 times the MR of sodium hydrogen carbonate which would work out there um, again those numbers the, well you've got your AR values at the top of the screen there but also they are from the periodic table they are the larger numbers so remember the mass number is the larger number in those boxes uh, of the elements on the periodic table so and the answer to this sum we get 1.68 grams okay good so that's a slightly different question there where we've had to apply some of our reacting reacting masses uh, knowledge and um, and then also use the knowledge we know about volumes of gases and moles so there's a few questions coming up here. Here you go, guys. You, you've got the option here of working these out yourself. Some in decimeters cubed, some in centimeters cubed. And all you need to do is calculate the moles of gas present in there. So there's five questions there. I reckon 30 seconds each. So give yourselves about, well, let's say three minutes. Okay, pause the video, three minutes, and then look at the answers. Okay. Right, hopefully you've got the same answers as me. If you've got something wildly different or, or, or different, then do drop me a line um, in case I've made a mistake. Okay, and then I can correct that for you. Um, but hopefully you can go back and correct your work and see where you've gone wrong if you've made any mistakes. Okay, so they're just straightforward calculations, those. Here's a few more questions now, which is a bit more application. Okay, so... You've got to calculate the volume of hydrogen produced in the first one, the volume of CO2 produced, and the volume of O2. So you, volume of H2 produced in centimetres cubed when 0.5 moles of Mg reacts. Right. So you are actually going to have to work out from a balanced equation. So you're going to have to construct some balanced equations here for these reactions um, and then work out uh, either through your reacting masses method or, or well it will be through reacting masses you'll have to look at the number of moles um, that you'd get of different things and then you'd have to work out your volume of gas that you'll get as well so pause the video these ones are a bit harder so give yourself a bit longer pause the video uh, for approximately five minutes a little bit more uh, unpause and then look at the answers coming up Okay, guys, hopefully you got some the answers same as mine there. Uh, if not, then go back, just go over the video again. Uh, make sure you know how to do reacting masses. If you're unsure about that, there's a video I've done on that, so check that one out. Um, and then hopefully come back to this and get the right answers. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That was um, a video about volumes of gases. Uh, coming up soon, there's going to be a video about ions, so look forward to that. And uh, make sure you've got your notifications on for any more videos from Mr. Hutton Science.